Hey guys, what's up? Alpha Lion Simba here and welcome to another creature comparison. Once again, we're doing another remake and I'm doing a remake on the Wolverine versus the Tasmanian Devil. And no, I am talking about neither the superhero nor the Looney Tunes character. Let's begin. As always, we start with our similarities. Both the Wolverine and the Tasmanian Devil are primarily scavengers feeding off of dead animals, and they have among the strongest bite forces in the animal kingdom, with jaws that are strong enough to crush bones. And that's really the only similarity between the two species. Now let's start with the differences. First up, Wolverines are mustelids in the same family as skunks, weasels, ferrets, stoats, badgers, and otters, while tazzy devils are marsupials, just like kangaroos, koalas, and wombats. In terms of range and habitat, the wolverine is found in boreal forests and tundras in northern North America, Scandinavia, and northern Asia. By contrast, the Tasmanian Devil, true to its name, lives on the island of Tasmania, but has been reintroduced into the mainland of Australia. Wolverines are also much bigger than Tasmanian Devils. A fully grown wolverine weighs 22 to 36 kilograms, or 49 to 79 pounds, and are 82 to 113 centimeters, or 32 to 44 inches long, and can be up to 43 centimeters, or 17 inches tall. On the other claw, an adult male Tassie devil is about 2.1 feet long, including the head and body, while females are 1.9 feet long. Males weigh 18 pounds, while females weigh 13 pounds. While they scavenge a lot, wolverines also do hunt a lot of times. In fact, they're capable of bringing down prey much bigger than themselves, such as moose and caribou, and they're able to scare cougars, wolves, even bears away from their kills. By contrast, tazzy devils mostly scavenge, and if they do take down prey, they don't take down prey bigger than themselves, mostly rodents, birds, and wallaby joeys. Also, the wolverine is listed as vulnerable on the IUCN red list and was once threatened by hunting for its fur. By contrast, the Tasmanian devil is an endangered species. Its main threat is a disease called devil facial tumor, which is passed through physical contact. Kind of like a Tasmanian Devil version of COVID-19, but much worse. In fact, it is estimated that there are fewer than 25,000 Tasmanian Devils still alive in the wild, down from as many as 150,000 before the fatal disease first struck in the mid-90s. Well, that was it. My remake on my creature comparison between the Wolverine and the Tasmanian Devil. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's return to the safari hat and see what the next creature comparison is gonna be. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Well, the next one's going to be another request from Simon J, and he's put me on the bit of a horns of a dilemma. Alpha Lion Simba, out.